All right, guys, so we're back out here in the garage, and we're going to get started working on the blue car, which I have been super excited about trying to get into this thing. Uh, I wanted to get the green car back on the ground and moving under its own power, and this thing's pretty much done, except for needing a front end alignment, but at least this thing, you know, moves and drives under its own power, and I can get it out of the way, and... What I think we're gonna do is start repairing on the blue car while it's on the body cart. I don't know anything. Well, I wouldn't say I don't know anything, but I don't know much about body work at all. But I've watched a few YouTube videos, so I feel confident that I can start trying to do it on my own. So I think what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna move the green car back. Um, we'll open up the garage. I'm gonna have to open up the garage door and probably hang couple feet in the back of the car out the garage and we're just going to start fixing on this blue car the uh the main thing can't can't get through there to show you but the main thing that the blue car needs which may be one of the few things as far as body work is concerned that we actually fix on this car is floors so the green car needed almost the exact same floor work done to it and I was, because the green car is like my full-fledged dream car, I was too afraid to tackle it myself. But this blue car is super low buck. And, you know, I like it. But I don't know if I'd say that I'm as in love with it as I was the green car. You know, the green car was my first Nova. And I'll probably never get rid of this car, ever. But this one, I mean... Don't get me wrong, I love it, but I don't know. I don't know what plans are for this thing yet. Anyway, I'm feeling much more confident in trying to tackle, because this thing's so far blown apart that who cares, you know? It, I, can't make, I can't make it worse. So we're going to start trying to cut these floors out, and I'm going to try and fix them myself. She's home. I lost. Yeah, you did. Big loser. Gambled all the car money away at the casino. Wasn't that much? Okay. For whatever reason, I have a, I have driver's side, no, passenger side window glass for a 73, 74. So if you need this, let me know because I just keep moving it around. All right, so let me explain my plan of attack here. So what I think I'm going to do, and like I said, I'm, I am by no means uh, an expert in body work at all. This is going to be my first time attempting welding sheet metal in my entire life. So I don't know how this is going to go. I would not use this video as a how-to because this might not be the right way to do it, but for me it's the right way because I'm going to learn something from this. So. What I think I'm going to do, even though, like I said, you might not agree with it, I'm going to leave this whole section underneath the front seat because I think that it's okay, usable metal. It doesn't appear to be too rusted or corroded. And I'm going to patch here, 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 and here. Uh, because I think it's going to be an easier job to tackle, I'm going to start with the rear pans, or the rear patches, because I think that'll give me a good insight as to whether or not I'm 
good enough to try and do this or not. Now there's a bunch of stuff that I don't wanna cut into. So I, I know it might be hard to see here, but like, so this is good and I don't wanna cut into that when I, while I try and remove this metal. Um, there's the seat belt brace. Uh, you can't see those, but there's the seat belt braces there. And then there's like the uh, the bracing that goes under the seat. So I don't want to cut into any of that stuff because it's all good. What I think I'm going to do is cut out this floor pan from underneath and then try and duplicate it, which I don't know how well we'll do because this thing's got a big dent in it. Probably from somebody jacking on it at some point. Even that one. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut it out from underneath with a cutting wheel and then use our new pan to try and duplicate it and see how that goes. it's out and uh, it looks relatively squarish um yeah I mean I like I said I don't know much about it but I feel good about it all right so we got the, you know the rusted out rear section of the floor cut out and I just dug this out of the shed this is the floor pan that I originally ordered for this car and the company that I ordered this from sent me the wrong pan. So let me show you what I got. All right, so if you remember from my car, pretty similar to this car actually, um, you can see that on like the tow board area, it's it's got like, I don't know, three inches of rust up the tow board. And my car had the exact same thing going on. So when I ordered the floor pans for this car, I was looking for the floor pan that has, you know, about six inches of the tow board or kick panel area. And they sent me these by accident. So when I let them know, they didn't charge me for these. They just said, hold on to them. So now I got Bingo. All right, so we're gonna use the section I just cut out to, you know, cut out a new section. And I'm probably gonna cut it a little bit oversized and trim it down to what I need and see how that works. Because, like I said, this is all damaged and kind of pushed up, so this might require some finesse. So I've got the panel cut out and even though it's not perfectly trimmed yet, we are like, I'm really, really close to like right there on the edge. So what I did, and like I said, I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong or whatever, but this little, um, this little bump that's in the, the floor is what I'm kind of using as like my frame of reference. So I left that on the pan. <laughs> So that way, at least while I try and get this set up, I'm really close. At the back of the floor, I'm like right there. I'm, I'm right there. In fact, I might actually be there. No, I'm just, I'm off a little bit. But either way, so I'm really close. Um, I think that's gonna wrap up using the cutoff wheel. And I think everything from here, I'm gonna just use a, uh, a grinder and just kind of shave it down a little bit. 
Um, because the one thing I want to make sure that I don't do is I really don't want to cut this panel too short. Uh, leaving it long and being able to trim it down is going to be fine, but as soon as I cut too much off, I can't put it back. So I'm just going to take my time and kind of shave it down until we get it right. guys well rear floor pans are welded in uh, you've seen the footage of me welding this one in and I went ahead and did that one and let me tell you I learned a lot from doing this one first that I did differently on that one and both of them are in they're they're both gonna work you know just the way they're, they're supposed to but that one went in so much better based off of what I learned from trial and error on this one so on this one, I had the fit pretty good, but there was a couple corners and stuff where the gap was, you know, a little, probably a little bit more than it should have been. Whereas that one, I spent my time and made sure that the fit was like 110% perfect. It took four times longer to fit that panel than it did for me to fit this one. And when it came to welding with that gap being perfect all the way around, that panel went in so nicely compared to how this one went any any of the areas on this one where i had any sort of uh you know like any sort of gap between the uh the panel and the the base metal uh it would just you know blow away so we're gonna get started on the front floor pans and that's gonna be interesting so let's get to cutting these out and we'll go from there We got to cut out and let me show you what's left. So that's what came out. So this is going to change things because before I was really kind of cheating and using, you know, the panels that I cut out, you know, the bad metal as a template for cutting out the new metal. But with that pile, of you know whatever is left there that's not gonna that's not gonna fly for this front pan so what i think we're gonna do is i'm gonna go underneath and i'm gonna make a mark at where i have cut out the bad metal here which is kind of following that brace that runs underneath the floor and then what i think i'm gonna do is we're gonna have this whole section of the floor pan back here that I'm not going to use. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out because these floor pans don't have the tow board. AMD makes a floor pan that has the tow board. And that's really what this car kind of needs. But we don't have that. And it's, it's not in the budget. It's not in the budget to buy another set of floor pans. We've got like three sets of floor pan, four sets of floor pans here for this car. And I'm not buying another set. Yeah, this is going to be different because obviously there's spot welds that hold this to the inner rocker panel. I don't have a spot welder gun. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But I don't know. It. 
this is going to be a little bit different than what went on back here but i think we can do it how hard could it be right got this pan about cut and ready to burn in and i know you're looking at that and you're wondering what is that well because i didn't really have a template to go by i started trimming it to get it close and I don't know. I don't know if I didn't account for the fact that the side here that goes up against the rocker panels um, drops down. I I don't know what I was doing. I got this really good. It's in line with the body crease that's up there on the tunnel. But I cut, I don't know, like a half of an inch too much. So I made another panel. I, I, know, I know you're probably cringing. Stop it. Stop it. I know everybody who, you know, knows how to do body work is cringing on at their TV or their phone right now, but it is what it is. I'm, that's how I'm going to fix it with that. I'm not going to cut a whole new panel and try again. I'm going to see what I can do. And then we're going to have to start figuring out what we're going to do with that mess. So, okay. All right, guys. Well, we've put some more time into... The floors on the Nova. The driver side pan is finished. I used some scraps that I had laying around to fabricate a tow board. And basically I just took, you know, some leftover pieces that were cut. And there's some there's some areas of this panel that are like stepped up. Like you can see this here. It's got this step. So basically what I did with this stuff, since none of it's shaped right to that contour is I really just used the hammer and my vise to kind of, you know, pound and move and make my own tow board. Now it's, it's not perfect. If I wanted it to be perfect, I would have bought a different floor pan. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have used the pan that ended at, you know, right at the base of the firewall. I would have bought the one like, uh, you know the AMD pan or the the good mark pan that has about six inches of the tow board on it But you get the idea It's a budget build and we made it work and it's gonna be fine and realistically like when you have this thing all painted in here and You undercoat the bottom. We're gonna use it the same undercoat that we used on the green car You're not gonna you're not gonna know um and what's even funnier is like, so everything came out of this area of the floor pan, you know, the new floor pan, because we didn't use this area. So everything came out of this area. And it's pretty funny that like the, uh, you know, these structural dimples that they put in there are in that section. Because you can see like the factory tow board kind of has a similar deal. So like to somebody who doesn't know, maybe they'll fall for it but uh we got the passenger side i've got this panel cut and fit perfect it's kind of dropping down a little bit over here but this panel's ready to ready to burn in i have to fabricate a little bit of something for the bottom of the tow board there i cut the the rust out of the bottom of the tow board um just like this side you know we're gonna kind of fabricate something to make it work it's not as aggressive of a bend as what I had to do to that side, so this shouldn't be that bad. And um, but the main thing is, is you can see it in there that um, I guess you call it a torque box, but that's where the um, it's like a structural component that ties the front end together with that front subframe mount, and there's. I mean, if I could show you from underneath, the car's tucked in the corner here. But if I could show you from underneath, there's just nothing left to that to work off of. This side had like a small rust hole in the corner of it that I welded a patch into and it's going to be fine. But this one, this whole corner is just gone. So I ordered a new torque box. We're waiting on that. It should be here in a day or two and that'll allow us to complete the floor pan over here and then we're done floor pans are done so we're right at the end of the tunnel I didn't want to wait a few more days to get this done to post the video so we're gonna we're gonna cut it short uh, you're not gonna see that last pan go in but you get the idea 
I mean, floor pans are in. And you don't have to be a professional to do this job. If you're looking to just get it done, you can do it. I mean, it came out good. I'm, I'm happy with it. And for what it's worth, I, I learned a lot. The only way you're gonna learn how to work on these old cars, you know, unless you do this for a living, is to just do it and figure it out. YouTube's got a bunch of people that provide videos on how to do it, but they don't, unless you actually cut it out and start doing it yourself, they don't help. Uh, I really wish that I had somebody, my, my dad and my grandfather, they don't do body work. They've never done anything like this. They've built some amazing cars and they do a lot of the prep work for body work but they've never done anything like this. If I was to do this again, I'd use a different floor pan. I'd use the one with the tow board. And I probably would have done the same thing that we did when we did the floor on the green car, is I would have taken everything. Um, I didn't because I didn't have the experience to know how to get a lot of this metal off without you know, damaging any of the body supports that are underneath here. So I didn't do it that way. I can guarantee that the way that I did it was seven times more work than if I had taken the entire pan, you know, right at this seam and basically just used the side of the car, you know, the side of the inner rocker panel because there would have been no trimming required there and basically just cut the fit the entire tunnel side and made sure that the tow board area fit right and around back here. but. I feel like that would have been a lot easier than having to f perfectly fit four sides of the floor pan on both of, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with what I did. I'm just saying that if you had taken the whole pan and felt confident grinding and re-welding all those spot welds, which I, at the time that I first started, I had no experience with welding on anything like this. This is my first time ever welding sheet metal at all. And now that I'm now that I've done it, I feel way more confident. The car's really coming along. Um, I I basically just want to turn this into as rust free of a body as we can. You know, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a perfect car. I just I want to get it back into a car. This is gonna close out the floor pan installment. The next time you see the floor, you know, the interior, um, you should see paint going on the floor pans and hopefully seats going in it. All right guys, I threw those bucket seats that I had laying around from the parts car. If you haven't seen it, there's a video of uh, my son and I cleaning the seats and the seat belts that we took out of the donor car, the 71 donor car that we have. But these things look sweet. I mean, they're not in the right spot. I just Put them in here so that they kind of balance and stand up on their own because they're not bolted in. But these things are gonna look killer in this car. Now, I mean, we're not. This is no. This is no restoration. We're just. I mean, it's basic. The car is basically gonna be this, just on the ground. So these seats look awesome and are starting to finally give me an idea of what this car is kind of going to look like when it's back into being a car so you can't beat free and to like most most of the bench seats or bucket seats that you see on like marketplace or craigslist or whatever they're so expensive you know two or three hundred bucks for a bench seat so no way free free is for me and the little bit of rattiness that goes on here you know it matches so finally starting to see some light at the end of the floor pan replacement tunnel so all right guys i think it's going to do it for this video and we'll see you next time